How do you feel about keeping relics and memories from people that you've known that has passed passed on? <laughs> How do you feel about that? I, and when I mean, I'm saying that, hold on, hold on, but before you start, but, but when I'm saying that, and it can be family, it can be friends, it can be right. mother, father, brother, cousin, whatever, right? But you're keeping mm -hmm. these things, even if it's a watch, rings, necklaces, whatever, right? You're keeping these things, but um, how do you feel about people doing that and keeping that? What are, okay. you, what are, your, what are your thoughts on that? I think that's keeping something like uh let's say the watch that you brought up yeah that could be your father's or something like that mm -hmm. and uh we can say that could be like an heirloom or whatever this was the the watch that my daddy wore all the time um i might not wear it i might just want to look at it because it brings back those that memory of him being here you know that takes me to that tender spot that tender place so I'm fine with that or a pair of earrings or, you know, when mama's wedding ring, you know, that might be passed down, you know, things mm -hmm. of that nature. Or, um, you know, you could have a loved one, brother, they're painting or something, you know, pictures that they draw, drew. It's just something that's just going to bring back that, that, that warm feeling of my loved one was here they're gone and i it's just symbolic of them now i'm gonna hit you with something different now when uh let's say someone's past like these people that did go to these auctions and you hear a silent bidder paid six thousand dollars for uh some socks that might have been worn by let's say michael jackson or something like that and they close that off and it could be something they remember that person, but are they putting that item on a pedestal almost to deify that, that individual or uh, that item? Yeah. You know, that's I, almost like worship. I don't yeah. want to get into that. Well, well, definitely with that, with that, with what you just I don't said, want to get yes, into that's, that. that's worship in that particular um, person. If it, if it's a sports yeah. figure, if it's an entertainer, yeah. movie, whatever, right? I don't guaranteed. Want to get into that. Yeah, guaranteed. That's exactly what it. You are worshiping them, and mm. you can say, um, "Yeah, you bought it because it was something that Michael jo uh, uh, Jackson wore, or whatever." The only way that it would be of value, meaning you would do it, you would sell it, you know, like in an auction or you, you're keeping it long enough so you can resell it and make a profit. That's about the only thing. It. But if you're just holding it for what? All right. Because it's going to so, increase. Yeah. <laughs> for what? I, I don't get it. Y'all let me know. Let me know. Congregation, let me know. Am I wrong? <laughs> for what? I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. But that, just to rewind back, so you're saying that watch that dad used to wear. Yes. Yeah, and you keeping that watch, right? You're keeping that watch. It's like dad used to wear this every day. He is passed on. I'm keeping this as a relic and a memory of my father. Yes. What? So basically, you're tying the memory of your father to that watch. All right? So okay. let's say let's say the watch gets stolen. The watch gets stolen. You don't know where it's at or it gets lost. Do you lose that memory of your father? No, you don't. Okay. But the, okay, so you okay, don't, so you don't. so so you don't lose the memory. Okay. So why are we tying things to physical things, physical things? Why are we tying that to our memories? Because, well, be, be, because, you know, God forbid anything, you know, somebody has dementia and you lose it, you lose your memory. It doesn't matter anyway. Look at you. Right? I mean, 
I, I should not be laughing. You're ridiculous, okay? But well, Roger that, I'm just, I'm just saying, Yeah, I'm just I got saying, you. I'm just saying, like, we, we're taking these physical things and we're putting <laughs> memories, we're tying our memories to these physical things yeah. when the memory of your father is still up here, right? Right. So if that if you lose that watch or the watch gets stolen, those earrings, that ring, that whatever, right, it's gone. Right. Then what? Well, Kane, we, we do these things because we are human, okay? <laughs> you will keep uh, maybe a, a class <laughs> ring, um, things that, that might have some significance, okay? Look, you know, back in the day, you know, our mamas, they might – keep our our first pair of little booties i think the little shoes what we wore yeah we were stuff babies, like you know yeah, you know, yeah. you know it's just a, a keepsake and man they pass it on to you you know uh what? and then you might say to your your kids which they will not care <laughs> yes uh, exactly hey, this, 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 these right are here, my baby you know? shoes yeah why what what oh, does man. it matter? <laughs> they what made does it, and I ain't even passed on. So you show yeah. them the baby shoes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and this is going to be for you. <laughs> yeah. Pass this on. Give it. To, I'm like, why do we do this? Congregation, Kane. let us know. Why do we do this? Why do we keep these relics and these things? That, that was a. Uh, now, I can see where this is uh, the exception. Okay, <laughs> go. Let's go. So let, let's say. um. My great 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 granddaddy mm-hmm. had a watch, and he had it back in the eighteen hundreds or whatever, and it's been passed down from generation to generation, right? Yeah, right. And it's just just it. it I don't know my grand great granddaddy. I, I never met him. I probably ain't never, you know, probably don't even have any pictures of him. You Uncle know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well, I was saying I don't have anything. And since I don't have anything, mm-hmm. uh, uh, um, but it's been passed down, and I'm just doing tradition. Just tradition. Uh, I'm going to pass it down to my son. Here. Hey, this is from the great, great, great granddaddy from, you know, uh, 1800s, and this is the watch or whatever. It may be worth something. It may not be worth something. It's only, a, you know, it's only worth something to the eyes of the beholder, right? So somebody right. who wants it or whatever, but would you sell it? Would you would you sell that watch and use it for the benefit of your family? Meaning that particular watch, yes, it was brought down. So maybe we didn't have much in the past. We didn't have much. But the little things we did have, which was a watch, and it was a nice watch or whatever, and it, it dates back to the 1800s, and we sell it to, a, I don't know, a museum or something, right? We sell it to them for something crazy price, don't you think that that would be uh, more beneficial for the family than just to just keep passing it down? Good question. And Us- see- utilizing that money for uh, something else bigger, maybe buying some land, whatever. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> we see now, we see now congregation and Canaanites, Cain about that money, okay? Forget that. If he was going to go with generational wealth, that's why I thought he was going to be going. Oh, it could be that. That could be generational that, wealth. That, that is true. But look, we can keep some things in the family. I see what you're saying, too. It depends on how we are doing as a family. If we're doing fine, it's no need to sell that item. I get it. I you get know, it. it's no need. But you have to make, and if you're the the oldest, the eldest, Mm -hmm. uh, and you go to the family, hey, this is what I'm going to do because we know we done had this in our family, but this is worth, I don't know, whatever amount of money that can set our families up for generations to come. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a tough decision right there. That is. You know, because it's... Would you? Or just great granddaddy, great, 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 Grand, granddaddy watch so i'm keeping that watch well it just depends on how we're doing i, I know it's, it's i know really i'm wearing a watch now in. i know i'm wearing a watch now and it's just a, a watch that i wear daily more than right. the other watches that i wear right? right okay so since i wear this watch daily i don't want my kids to be like man i'm gonna keep that 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 watch that daddy wear all the time no this is nothing this watch here it's nothing you don't need to keep that you know 
<laughs> if you can, if you can sell it and make some money from it, make some money from it and then invest that money or something. But great, Kane. But look, like, <laughs> see, you, you have me jump on you right now. Now, don't tell. Don't try to control. I know. Your, I know. Your, I know. Your, I know, your, I know, your son. I know. Yeah. Or your your kids, and that's something special. Okay, we're doing fine. Or well, we might be hurting, but I don't want to sell that mm -hmm. uh, knockoff Timex that my dad used to wear all the time because, you know, that just represented him. He always. No, it doesn't. Had this, that does, watch on. this doesn't well, represent. That's me. what they see. But that's what. The, this doesn't look, represent. That's why me I say, and you said something in the eyes of the beholder, when mm -hmm. your kids, they saw you, they saw you with that watch on, or back. When you they were young, he'd be like, "Hey, where my watch at?" Daddy always losing his watch, but mm -hmm. that's a, that's a good memory because we will find it. We will look for it together. I'm putting something else on that watch that's a representation or could be considered a representation. Devil's of my advocate. Daddy. Devil's advocate. All, okay, if go it, ahead. If this thing gets lost, where's the memory? Does the memory get lost with but, it? Let me tell you something. You won't <laughs> know that it's lost. Okay, <laughs> you see. You're cutting up right now, but I understand I'm what saying, you're saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Congregation, bro. I need y'all to jump into this, okay? <laughs> Let us know, man. Would you I'm sell it for the money? The money or trade? You can trade it for something that's more trade. that's worth yeah. the, um, you know, like let's say, for instance, you that watch you trade it in for um, the you know a couple acres of land, and then that's a start from that's a start from. Um, Building, building generational wealth so you and then that that those acres can be passed down to the next generation and then they can build upon those acres you're like oh well, we're gonna add some more to it or whatever right right Kane, or do we just sit and hold these things and then when it's gone it's gone well Kane, or get lost or whatever well if it get lost but look i i have a question it was this movie and uh maybe 15 20 years ago but it was this family and they had these silver, uh, uh, silver uh, candle holders. Okay, mm -hmm. and I think it was going passed on generation to generation, and mm -hmm. then uh, it got lost. And then someone went and pawned it. But then they was going back to the history of those shand of those uh, cup holders. It was pure silver, and mm -hmm. it went back all the way back uh, to the slavery days, and they was. Mm -hmm. leaving and i think one of the slaves took it took it and passed it on that was the only thing that they got and it was just going from so it, it had semblance it it had memories that it was what memory know, the memory of that was the only possession that they had when they were slave of 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 something that was monetary that meant something to them so it was just passed on to generation passed on to generation until it somebody had a hard times if i'm correct and then they punned it and it's like you mm -hmm. punned that but do you know the history because some things have history that watch that you have on your arm could have mm -hmm. had some type of history and once they understood that history they did everything they could to get that uh that cup holder the silver uh i mean candle holder out of the pawn shop and people in the comments if you know what movie i'm talking about <laughs> please hit it up okay. so I, I don't i don't know i don't know you just uh, don't like putting attachment on things now, that's yeah. fine because I'm, I'm i don't do that often but you do it i, I have done it yes right, let me see and you currently do it i'm trying to think of, of something so well, anything that, that, that somebody that passed away that you just keep just because it's a memory. Oh, Do you have anything like man? And and and, no, and congregation, 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 I know you're gonna bring up like pictures and stuff, right? And um it's hard some to people, keep them. Yeah, yeah. Some people keep pictures and it's just a, a timeline of, you know, maybe it's uh somebody that passed away or your timeline or whatever. And and that I don't really see nothing wrong with it. Um, with, with you know keeping pictures or having pictures or anything like that. It was just certain items that I feel like there's no memory. Like even though you may not remember, you know, when you were young or whatever, but when you see a picture, it kind of brings back the memory. Yes. I, now I know that some people feel like you know 
well, that memory doesn't exist. It doesn't exist anymore. I mean, it, it happened. We, we're not saying it didn't happen. It happened. But right. it's not it's not now. But so, Kane, but what 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 does that does that fill in the gap of of the history of maybe no. you or a family member or whatever? I mean, what does it what does it do? It, it doesn't fill in the gap, you know, the memories, as long as the memory stays there. But then I have this question for you, you know, uh, yeah. a family member that passed and then, you know, the urn. You know, if they uh-huh. were cremated, are we yeah. trans? What do you feel about that? Okay, well, I'm yeah. moving to another house. I don't need that. I'm gonna just leave it. What, what's going on? I mean, but what, why would you even have something like that? What do you mean? If, if there was your wishes to, you know, <laughs> get cremated, yeah, I, I, I mean, cremated, but do you have to carry it around everywhere? You want everybody to carry it be around your house? From generation, generation, generation. It'll be on it's that grandma. altar. This, It'll this be on is that your altar. grandma. This is your grandma that you didn't meet. But here, they give it to your kids. This is your grandmother, a great grandmother, and they just it, you think they're supposed to just you know move from place to place with some ashes? Let me tell you something, King. <laughs> don't don't know. You better put some respect on grandma's name, okay? No, no, but I, I know it's not it's not disrespect. It's I know like, I'm playing with you, if bro. I'm, if I'm burnt up, if I'm burnt up, because if <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry, cut <laughs> If I'm, just I'm burnt like up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't want you carrying me around everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Just put me back in the earth because that's where, you know, with burials too. You know what I mean? Just put me back in the earth. Just, just, you know? Yeah, you know, just put me back. I mean, even if even if they do a, a funeral and do all that other good yep. stuff for me or whatever, that's nice and dandy. But however, I'm not there. I know I'm the center of attention, but I'm still not there. Uh, My spirit is not there, so I don't. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't need. I don't. I don't. I don't need all that. You know. You know. So, so if you want to burn me up and and, and it's cheaper, whatever. It, it really doesn't matter. But you know, when we do the burials, we put them in the ground so they can just be yes. within the earth or whatever, Ash right? You don't carry it around. You may go to the cemetery or whatever and check them out and, and or whatever. And make sure the tombstone is good, but you only do that for so long too. Because everybody don't do that forever. Well, sprinkle me. You know, you can sprinkle me, man. You what? Know, With what? what? See, you know, oh, I'm yeah, saying, you can, hey, you know, sprinkle. Yeah, you can do that, too. Yeah, you can do that, too. Yeah. Shout out E-40, sprinkle yeah. me. You know, <laughs> sprinkle me out. Hey, just. Yeah, you, you can do that, but 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 to put them in a, a little urn and just keep them. And just yeah, but some people them. do that. And then I know, I know they do. It's, 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 it's pet lovers out there. And one of my good buddies, you know, she has her favorite dog. I remember that dog would bite and. Man, I said, "What's that right there? Big old picture, yeah. dogs in the urn, you know." So, so how long do you keep the urn oh, until you die? Oh man, she done had that thing for yeah some years. Yes, so yeah, it'll go. You keep it. I, I'm I'm curious about this, um, and that, and that's that's very interesting to me, uh, congregation. Let me know how y'all feel about keeping ashes. That's a relic from somebody. Uh, I, yeah, but Kane, come on, that's family. I mean, what's just gonna dump no, I'm it? Just, I'm I mean, just saying, like, what do you do with the ashes? You know, like, do you do you keep them? <laughs> hey, y'all, don't give Kane <laughs> any ashes. I mean, I'm just man. saying, man. So, do you keep the ashes? Do you keep the ashes of the the bird, the dog, the cat? You keep those ashes, and then what do you do with them? Even if you do replace them with uh, another bird or a cat or dog or whatever, right? What? Like if you if you buy another dog from that dog you had was a child. So if you keep if you a dog died and you burnt it up, <laughs> you burnt it up when you were younger. When you were younger, right? Using your teenager, yeah. you don't keep that till you 40, 50 years old. You still no, okay. Dog. Come on now. You go out and you go. So where overboard. does it go yeah. then? That was Man. that's my question. Where does this, these ashes go? Look, well, I'm gonna tell you. Well, that's Alabama. why you should dump them anyway. Dump them anyway yeah. then. Don't Stop dump your family life. members, okay? You can dump the <laughs> animals, okay? People, what is going on with this Canaanite tonight? Hey, I'm just asking. It's just a yeah. question, y'all. <laughs> it's not like I believe all this stuff, but I'm just kind of jogging your, your mind yeah. and just kind of, you know, just see what you're thinking of. Because I, I know a lot of times we, we do mm-hmm. things just out of a creature of habit or what other yeah. people have been doing. That's what yeah. we do. We don't yeah. even think about it. Or, that's the reason why we do this. <laughs> Go ahead. Like, and, and I was thinking about this, okay? Um, 
you know, we might know something that a family member, you know, dad, moms liked, and we might get into those things because dad liked that. Not saying you like it as much or was, but mm-hmm. you might start getting things like, let's go with the Invictus watch, you know, you know, I'm really okay. not a watch okay. guy, but I'm thinking about buying some of those watches because my, my pops like those watches, you know? Mm-hmm. And hey, I you know I'll just get me a store to store a little collection, and wear them from time to time. You know, mm-hmm. that's that's one of the things, and we do that, you know, because of that that connection, that bond uh, of, and this time we can say it, Canaanites, the Boy. feelings <laughs> play. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's and strange feelings, feelings because okay, you're, yeah. you, I mean, you might not have never been into watches and you're still not into watches, but you're just considering watches because somebody yeah. else is collecting watches. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that, uh, for some reason, I, I just feel like, you know, tying, you know, like physical things to people is, 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 is it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing because then you're living in the past, maybe. And and, and some people don't want to move forward. Yeah. They just kind of live in the past. They, they you know, they, I'm always thinking about this. So I'm always, I got this. Every time I look up at that picture or every time I look up at that necklace or every time I wear that watch, I'm thinking about whomever, right? I'm not saying that, you know, you know, uh, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I guess it's, you know, uh, showing some consideration for their life and all that other mm-hmm. stuff. That's, yeah. Yeah. But, but materialistic things don't show anything to me. Y'all can let me know. Let me know. Materialistic things, you know, no, I don't, I don't, I, you don't need to tie no, nothing materialistic that I have. My kids don't need to tie that to me, you know, not at okay. all. Real quick question before we mm-hmm. close this out. Okay, mm-hmm. can you know both of us retirees, and I know a lot of retirees that may be in the congregation. We we call a shadow box. We call it yeah. the shadow box. You know, you might yeah. have a a, mm-hmm. a uniform item in there, ribbons mm-hmm. and things of that nature. Okay, and yeah. you pass that down, you know, to your son. Or you have that shadow box as a memory of what you been through, you know, the 20 years or however many years it was. Yeah. Why do we do that? Do you, did you do that? Well, I, I kept it for myself. I didn't keep it for them. Mm-hmm. I didn't but keep it for them be because when I look at it, I have the memories. Mm-hmm. But when they look at it, they don't have the memories. They just know that's daddy stuff. Yeah. And that be, might, might, might be an item. That they associate, boom! I'm gonna take this when Dad, you know, and do what with it? It'll just sit around for a little while, be in, in some crate or some box or something, and in, in storage, and then that's it. Maybe not. Maybe oh, not. you think it's gonna be on display? And then when they somebody comes up. and asks ask about it, well, what is this? I don't know. That's something my dad had. I don't even know. Oh, now you say that's my <laughs> daddy right there. That's my daddy. He 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 was in he was in the Coast Guard. Shout out to the Coast Guard. Hey. No negative. negative. It's all right. <laughs> negative. Negative. There ain't no way. Ain't no hey, way. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I'm like, don't don't tie that stuff to me. Yeah. I, I get it. We we did you. things, and in our mind, you know, those experiences. That's why I would tell anybody nowadays, and this is just my final thought. I would tell anybody nowadays, put that phone down and enjoy that moment. You know, yes. we're always trying to record, record, we take, take in that moment. And then you can have mental pictures of that experience. That would be my, that would be my uh, final thought. Instead of, you know, you know, take a picture here, take a picture there. You may not remember that picture. Sometimes you're posing for pictures. Just be in the moment. Be in the moment and take in that moment. And those are the memories that you can cherish with your loved one. Well, my final thought is when you can take a picture, you take a picture too. Okay. Because you can send it wherever you need to. But I like doing natural pictures when people might not be expecting, but we can pose because it's just the memories, you know? And mm-hmm. if you want to, you don't have to put all of your your time and energy into that item, but it is to me, 
it is okay to have an item that you see a loved one with and they have passed on and then you take that item, uh, you know, if it's father, mother, sister, brother, and you have it somewhere, you know, when you can look at it and just say, oh, man, I just remember that. You know, we don't have to uh, live in the past, but we can think about the past because if your past is preventing your future, then that is a problem. But it's okay to look back, especially at those good moments. And that's it for me. All right. <laughs> look, that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey! Roger that. Sound like I knew what I was talking about on that one. Let's go. A little bit. Hey. Baby. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 